Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 20 and the final episode of our Let's Play campaign. This is a normal difficulty Let's Play as opposed to a harder difficulty. Um, this is the last, uh, last episode because we're just at sort of a point in the campaign where there's not a lot to do, and I kind of want to end on a high note, and that for me will be the Battle of New York, so... If you notice here, it is April 7th, 1777, and we have skipped quite a lot of time. If you watched last episode, which I'll put a link in the top right hand corner, um, you'll know that I mentioned that I'm going to be skipping winter because winter is it's, it's kind of boring, uh, at least as far as creating YouTube content. It's definitely boring. Not a lot happens. What I mostly do is just send out my fleet and go and capture enemy ships, go and destroy enemy ships, grind rep, and then just kind of like build up our infrastructure and make sure we have all of our ducks in a row. So that's sort of what we do during winter, and it's it doesn't make for exciting YouTube content, so I feel like it's best to play that offline and show you guys what I consider more exciting. So there was a lot of this. Uh, we don't need extra loyalty, whatever. We'll take the minus nine. 146 muskets for 3,000 gold is a terrible offer. And... We have this rather large force going down to New York. Now, I mentioned this before, during winter, you can bleed the British out, which is basically what we did here. We we bled the British out. They had 11,000 troops here. They had like 6,000 troops here. I don't know how many troops they had here. And basically, the British bled themselves to death. They also had a 6,000-man fleet that said it was going to hit Newport, a garrison Newport hard, and that fleet instead decided to go down and drop its troops here to continue the bleeding of their soldiers. I also blockaded this area here with a bunch of ships, and I am continuing to do so. And I have been destroying every single little merchant vessel that has been coming through here, or at least the majority of them, to really stop the British from doing anything. Now you'll notice I have a boatload of money, and that is a bug. I reported the bug. Um, you can also see on the Discord what the bug is. <laughs> I received three 44 gunships. And you can see here that they sell for 167,015 money. I originally thought it said 16,700 because that seemed logical to me and that's what a lot of ships were selling for. So I quickly sold two and then looked up and went, why the heck do I have it was like 350,000 gold at the time and uh i was i was very confused so that is why i have so much money um i, I would call that a mistake in the the game right there okay so i want to take this battle i don't want reinforcements i absolutely hate how armies move like why is Keddies moving backwards i i received a comment every once in a while i receive a comment that's like hey i wish you would stop complaining it's amazing that um, some people are incapable of understanding, like, this is a early access game. I'm doing a early access playthrough. I'm going to give my thoughts about the game. I think a lot of you would understand that I really like this game, but there are a lot of things that definitely need fixing. So during an early access playthrough that I play through, I am going to bring up things that I think that need to be fixed, things that I think need to be better, and things that are kind of annoying. I also do give praise to the game where I say, hey, I really like this mechanic or, or just things that I really, really like. This is a massive army. It's actually not as big as it seems, but they have a lot of artillery because it's a lot of depleted units here. They have more men than us, but I think we have better quality men. You can see we have all of our special units here, including Morgan's rifles. We have a lot of skirmishers. We match them in cavalry. We have supply, and I'm a human player, they're an AI player, and so many of their units are absolutely depleted. They'll have tons of artillery, which will be rather unfortunate, but let's, let's take this battle anyways and see what we can do. Alright guys, army is moving out. Had to reload this battle a few times. Um, the, the devs are working on new tactical maps, and they look absolutely amazing and beautiful. Unfortunately, until those new tactical maps are out, we are left with this, and what happens is like the British kind of 
spawn in or teleport in because the map is too big to handle everything and it's uh, it's really really unfortunate now i need their cav to not bum rush me which is exactly what they are doing and that is rather unfortunate so we're going to have to okay uh is our cav yep okay our cav is charging over there that we should win that you know three up well okay i i also upgraded all of our cav by the way to so they have the best um carbines and everything but i need that cav to to go away um, you can see the British, like, some of their units are combined, and some of their units are really, really tiny units, which is, oh gosh, do not fire into your own men. That's always, uh, one of the more unfortunate things about this, this big giant blob setup that you have to try and do. Okay, so, I think I, I think I kind of set up our forces it's uh it's obviously going to be a big giant mess until we can properly properly get this keybinds would be amazing i would i would love 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 keybinds so if the and or i guess i mean like control groups I feel like the other flank is going to get attacked and then those guys are going to charge in and we need wow those guys took that many casualties okay need everybody to hold position and shoot the British as well as you can. Oh, that's not going to go well at all over there. Okay. Um, I think, I think that's fine. What are your, that, that unit's bugged. I don't know where they're going. Yeah, that's definitely bugged. Okay, where's my cab? Okay, um, oh shoot. What just happened to the camera? Nope, that's fine. Alright, we are rolling them over here, which is perfect. Um, okay, I need you guys to get back. And then, can you guys get out of there? That would be great if you could. Alright, you guys all need to hold. And I still don't know what is up with that artillery. So this is just going to be a massive... Nobody knows. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to describe it. It is a massive um, brawl. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to try my hardest. I don't know where this artillery came from. Oh man, they got our guys over there. They're like sitting on the edge of the map, which is really, really frustrating. Okay, I will try my hardest not to scroll too much, but I can't make any major promises because as you can see, this is a little chaotic and by a little I mean insanely chaotic. So you can see um, the enemy tons of like busted units over there. And then they did have some large units somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where where they went. And I don't know. Still don't know what this artillery is. Two, four, six. Oh, it was supposed to go over there. Okay. Well, you're you're now going to go here because actually you're going to go here because the center looks like it needs the most. And then need all the artillery to go on hold. And then I need to start looking at units that need replacing. So like you guys need to be replaced on the line. And then you guys need to charge into that, charge into that, and charge into that. That is your that is your goal over here. Okay, you're good. Hold now. Um continue looking for like weak spots in the line. The Dragoons are charging in over here. We just need to really collapse in on them and then bring you guys over here. And then if we can bring you guys out onto this flank, 
then get you guys in the forest a little bit better. You guys are in a, like, a terrible position. Um, yeah, people are wounded. Um, you guys need to move up there. You guys retreat a little. What is going on on this flank? I don't know. The other problem is the camera angle can't <laughs> can't properly handle um, a battlefield like this. That's a that's another big problem. Okay, combine. We do have a second row, and that's how I, I do like that in battles like this. I like having a second line so that if the first line gets really beat up, like right here, we can we can fix it, in theory. Um, okay, you guys get out of there. That's fine. Let's uh, start putting the guards in. Bring the old guards in. Okay. You guys need to become friends. And then, as I said, I, I apologize for... Uh, I'm trying my hardest to... to uh, not hand too fast so you guys don't get motion sickness, but um, that is... Okay, they are... They've routed as soon as they hit the lines. So that's that's perfect. No, no, no. Uh, I need you guys to become friends. Okay. Just keep holding the line. How are we doing over here? Um, I don't know. I think we lost cavalry. No, we didn't. Man, uh, control groups would be amazing. If the devs are listening, uh, I doubt they're watching, but if the devs ever watch this, please, please, please provide control groups. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, you guys need to group up over here. Ooh, there's a lot of lag going on right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, we've been talking about optimization a lot because the game is clearly not optimized well yet. And, but the devs, I, I always say, I, I give praise where praise needs to be given. The devs are, you know, constantly talking about optimization in their in their little patch notes or their news and all of that. Um, there's probably tons of you screaming, please pause the battle. Um, you guys know how I feel about that. What did I do? Oh, no, 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 oh man. They need a guard, guard option, so my units, ah, uh, that was so bad, I charged them into there, and they, they continued charging into the British lines. Pandacrout said he would fix this too in the next patch, which would be amazing if he is able to do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring you guys around so that, come on, get out of the line of fire, please. Okay, um, you guys are probably retreating. There's a hole in the line right there. And then can you guys just charge into this flank? That would be fantastic if you could do so. And then move these skirmishers up. And then let's grab you guys. Let's have you guys become friends. Uh, who else needs to become friends? Um, probably you guys. Boy, okay. Charge into that. We lost uh, artillery piece by the looks of it. You guys need to become friends. And then, um, not really sure what's going on over there. But if we can, we can get this cav over there. This this flank is a little, little iffy. This flank is really good, except. Uh, our calves a little um, crazy at the moment. Okay, let's continue crashing this flank. Okay, over here, I need you guys to charge into that. I need you guys to move up over here. You guys become friends. Can you guys uh, come back? I need you guys to take position there and then fall back, move over here, fall back. Okay, uh, looks like we have suffered some pretty bad casualties in the center over here. So that's, it's, uh, mostly our artillery is gone. Okay, 
I mean, not, not good by any stretch of the imagination. Let's grab you guys. How's over here looking? Alright, can you guys go take on them? Get you guys out of here. And then this flank is looking a little bit better. This is a very chaotic battle. You guys can become friends. When I say that, I'm just kind of like being a goofball, but what I mean by that is um, combined. Okay, I'm kind kind of looking for artillery on the battlefield. Oh, and okay. See what we can do over here. We can draw a line like so. And then if you can move up here. Actually, all of you, if you can move up here and then we'll put this artillery there where it's just being blasted. They're routing. Yeah, our artillery took absolute catastrophic damage this battle, but that's, uh, you know... It's going to happen. I think we, we lost the skirmisher over there. And then things are... I, I'd say things are going well. Obviously there's tons of casualties, so it's not, you know, the greatest, but... It's, uh, I feel like we're doing as well as we can. The artillery is definitely pummeling us, their, their artillery that they moved up. Trying to look at the line at a glance and see if there's like anything I can do. Okay, that artillery is um, reforming, so that's great. Can you guys go hit them? When I say reforming, I mean uh... okay. Let's go. Let's go do this, and then I, I keep trying to say stuff, and then <laughs> I'm like spacing out. When I say the artillery is reforming, what I mean is that they're remanning their guns. Get you guys into there. And then let's bring these skirmishers over here. Oh man, okay. Come on, keep pushing up. Keep, keep disintegrating their units. Okay, you guys fall back. You three move up, and then you two can make a combine, and you guys get back on your guns, move up over here. I notice supply wagons are doing terrible. Um, oh, I, I probably just got most of my cavalry killed. Okay, can our cab get out of there? And then I, I realize, uh, yeah. Micro is not there on the big battles. I can definitely see why somebody would would do a lot of pausing on these big battles. Definitely, definitely could see why. These big battles are a chaotic mess for sure. Alright, can you guys get back? Our cav is not doing well at all. Uh, lots of it has shattered. Let's get the cab out of there. Our cab is probably just absolutely exhausted for one, and that's probably one of the issues. The cab, they're, they're, um, they're, okay, that is what I'm talking about for Panda Crow, of the guys, like, shifting across the line, and they'll take tons of blanking shots. It's a, it's a very obnoxious thing, and it mostly happens when infantry is on top of the cannons. I would like them to go backwards as opposed to as opposed to continuing forward. Um, that's that's basically how I would like it to work, but um, what I want doesn't always work because um, it doesn't mean I'm right. Even though in my head I'm right. You know, when when you think you're right, you're you're right, right? It's a lot of rights. Okay, this battle uh how, how are we doing? I, I said I would try not to pan as much right there. Let's try and group up over here. I heard there's a bug where if you combine them, they start to look like Hessians. So let's see if that... No, they, look, they still... Oh, no, they turned into Hessians. All right. The guards have officially turned into Hessians. 
All right, you guys move up over here. And then we, we have them basically in a kill box now. And we'll move the cav. Our, our poor cav. But our, our cav, I feel like they did a decent job. I don't know if they actually did a good job or not. But in my head, I'm telling myself that our cav did a good job. So they did a good job. All right. Can we, can we speed things up a little? That would be fantastic if we could. Um, would like you guys to maybe move like so. Have you guys move up. There's a lot of enemy guns. And then just continue to move up. I think... Oh. That was, that was not good. Uh, shoot. Our unit's a little too small too. Lots of lots of hits on our, our guys right there. Okay, come on, take out this artillery. Are you guys fresh? I don't really want to charge into that though. That's the that's the major problem I have. Is it's just like death. Like the the scene in Lord of the Rings where Theoden is young. Death. I'm terrible at that because that seems amazing. It gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. But of course, I'm. Uh... Who's the actor that plays Theoden, by the way? God, he's so good. So good. A rear flank from that. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright. They, I mean, there should be a mass route by now, but they're not. We are. We're going on super duper fast forward mode as much as we can. And we are, we're just trying to completely encircle them. You can see there are absolutely tons of, tons of guns here. Tons of guns. Um, British artillery, you guys move up. All right, come on, shatter. All right, you guys charge that. You guys charge that. You guys move forward. You guys move forward. You guys move forward. Just kind of, we, we really need to push forward as much as possible. Wish you guys would not target a friendly combat. Um, okay, get, get out of there, please. No, 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 don't. They're going to shoot you down. Come on. Route them. Man, the, I've, I've talked to... <laughs> Talk to Pandacrot about this. He's trying to fix it. The the lines are really awful looking. Absolutely awful looking. Okay, I need you guys to charge in. And man, would this army please mass shatter? Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Alright, we're going to charge in with everything. Just charge. You can tell I'm at wit's end. Charge! Just Oh, all right. Stop firing. Stop firing. You stop firing. And let's get Quicksilver over here. Uh, I think some of our units shattered. I don't know. Come on. I think our all of our cabs shattered, which is unfortunate. Oh, no, no, don't have Quicksilver die. He is the chosen one! Yeah, 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 and they're going to get away. Come on. Charge him. I don't know how that wasn't like a mass surrender either. Because that was... They were completely surrounded. Come on. Get them. Okay, they shattered. Who's left? Just guys over here. Come on. Get them. And I got really sloppy at the end, but I sort of got tired. <laughs> Not gonna lie, guys. I got tired of that, so I'm really sorry. Hopefully that was an interesting battle. That was um, pretty crazy. I, I tried my best to, to make it decent to watch. I uh, the, the large battles are, are pretty difficult to figure out how to make them uh, watchable, but... That was 
pretty epic that, um, I mean, I don't think that'll be the last battle. I kind of want to take the other fort, but we have sort of a whole nother army nearby that can do that. The British also have a giant, or two, two other armies. We'll try to take all of New York. All right. Uh, 2,261 losses on our part. They did outnumber us by a lot. You could definitely feel it. Um, we lost a lot of guns. And let's take a quick peek to see if there's any absolutely ridiculous names on here. Barnabas Hollenby, that's a Benedict Cumberbatch name. Bartholomew Bainton, Benedict Cumberbatch name. Bartholomew, all the Bartholomews came to play. Um, wow, God, just look how many units there were. Absolutely insane battle. I can't wait until the large tactical maps. It'll make those battles hopefully a lot better. Um, and then they're talking about like something to to make it better at the beginning of a battle on like deploying your men. We have informed was found dead. Back on the strategic map, trying to uh, get all the redcoats to go away and retake New York because that'll be pretty amazing. And while that is going on, we are also um, you know, moving moving on out with more forces. That is the plan here. And von von, Stoib or von Stoiben will go and attack them. Um, sure, we have tons of money. Ridiculous amounts of money. I think we lost every single one of our cap. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, you know what? Uh... We didn't need him, right? Uh, gosh, that was that was brutal. Okay, the the crazy grind of trying to trying to get your unit to join up in an army. That's always a fun fun thing, and we'll have a crazy battle of Fort Clinton. I actually don't know if we have enough men to do this battle, but we shall see. I need Quicksilver. How many men can New York hold? Not not that many. That's clear. Um, all right. Uh, we win. That's not really how you win, but to me, that's that's winning. Man. Okay. I need to look for... Where's Morgan? <laughs> I can't... Oh, uh, yeah. So we, we actually lost artillery. Makes sense. Um, so the ones that lost artillery plus you plus you... Let's have you all leave, and you need to go to New Haven, and then over here, uh, hopefully, hopefully the enemy doesn't charge us right away because we are going to come on, move forward, <laughs> move forward, men. And you two, brigade up. Would love that. Okay, there's there's the battle. Move backwards. I, I can't express to you guys how bad me I want proper army organization. Um, okay, so this will be the Battle of Fort Clinton. Lots of busted units. They do have a lot of artillery. One, two, three, four, five, six to our six, but two of its militia. Or is that seven? Yeah, I can count. There's, there's a seventh right there. So this will actually be pretty hard. We might... Not be able to take the fort, but we'll try our hardest. Okay, on the battlefield, a million blue lines, because that is how we do things around here. Uh, for those of you that have never watched a Quicksilver American Revolution video before, uh, what I do at the very beginning is I pause, and I give a bunch of orders, because there's no deployment zone at the moment, and it's just kind of a big blob and a mess. So I pause, give a bunch of orders, and then unpause, that's probably the only pause that I'll do do during the battle. I it's probably more optimal to pause during the game and play that way, but for the purposes of recording, for the purposes of making a fun flowing uh, YouTube video, I don't like to pause, and I just generally don't pause in most games that I play. I do pause on the strategic map because there's more going on, but when it comes to the actual real time strategy aspect of games. It's just not my thing. That's just, I, I grew up that way, like, the Total War community, um, for the longest time, if you were, if you were a YouTuber that would use the pause button, you were sort of, like, shunned. Um, it was, wow, one, one volley. 
And they got absolutely decimated. I, I really wish I could move move my units onto the battlefield properly before before getting engaged. Or, or just have like uh, formations. Formations would be absolutely amazing in this game. But uh, that, that was a little bit brutal. What are you guys doing? I will... I will take that. That's a that's an easy one. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh gosh, the the Quicksilver statement. I, I think that is a a common thing that is said in my videos. Is what are you guys doing? Because it's this glitch is killing me. It crashed the game. Last one where the unit gets nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine cannons, and it absolutely murders the game absolutely murders it. I was I was doing really well in this battle and that happened to like three artillery at once and it completely crashed the game. So uh man they won that. Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Just imagine the the dog in the burning room. That's me right now. That's me going that it's fine. What is going on? I can't get my guys into into position. And they're just taking flank fires, flanking fire because of it. I, I feel like the British, didn't I tell, I, I pressed F. You guys saw me select them and I pressed F and the F button, whatever. We'll just continue charging. Fine, we're charging. Once again, it's fine. Fine, everything's fine. Okay, reman the guns, please. Alright, can you guys finally get out of here? Alright, what is going on over here? I feel like, did I, is this the line I actually created for you? It probably is. I, I probably, um, probably did not do that well. Okay, can you guys, this is no, and now they're being rear flanked, come on. Just move, move over here. You guys, uh, group up. You guys are getting back on the cannons. Good. Okay, come on. Move up. Push forward. Let's form a line. I mentioned this on the Discord. It's like, the how the battles go is step one, pause, try to figure out the mess that is the battlefield. Step two, uh, continue trying to figure out the mess that is the battlefield. Step three, sort of form line, battle's mostly over, congratulations. That's that's definitely how it how it feels. Um but we are I think we are I think we have kind of figured this out. We our line is it's not great, but you know, we're we're making it work. Really okay, no, I, that was my fault. I told you guys to combine. There's cannons over there. So that's uh good to know. And we'll see if we can bleed them out. Alright, you guys go back over here. So I uh, need them to shatter. Have over here. Can probably make these guys shatter. I would love to go hit that artillery, but if I do that with the cav, I'll probably lose a few too many, too many cavalry. I'd like you guys to move up with them, and then let's have you guys slowly move up with them, and then this bruised and battered artillery that got charged right off the bat. And well, you guys will go about here. You guys can move forward and engage them. And then I think that's a nice charge target for the cap. So we'll we'll abuse that. You'll sit back over here. You need to go over here. You need to stay in the center. Keep a nice strong core. That's what they tell you in you know, when you work out, keep a keep a nice strong core. 
you saw me now, you would be like, you don't work out, and that's true now, you used to work out. But then I got a desk job and, you know, found out what alcohol was. No, I don't drink alcohol anymore. I used to. I used to. I can't... well, wait, wait, nope, my wording is terrible. I, I have to say, I do miss some of it. Not all of it, but... Alright, moving, I'm trying to... Trying to maintain some semblance of order. Grab these guys, move you out over here. Okay, can we... Oof. Uh, okay, we're just going to have to try our hardest to hit that artillery. Um, if we lose a bunch of militia, we lose a bunch of militia. And that's just how it's going to go. So let's continue moving up. This artillery is going to have to move more like here. And then continue moving up. I would so love control control groups like group one, group two. Okay, they they routed or not routed, but they're they're routing, retreating. They're not broken. Alright, we got their cat or their artillery off the gun. So what do they have left? They've got four, five manned guns. So we we have supply. They probably have su I mean they're they're in a fort. They have supply. Let's have you guys pull back, and you guys can go sit there. And then, what can we do? What can we do? What can the Continentals do for you? Okay. Need you to shift up just a little. And then you guys will shift up more. You guys will group up, continue having the guards move up with them over here, and then I think you guys need to group up, and then we'll just have a nice long line over... no, whatever. No, we're not. We're not allowing you to do that. Okay, these militia are acting like militia and running away. Alright, we need, we need the line to form a little bit better, and this artillery did not go exactly where I wanted it to go. I would like the guards behind, I would like this beefy unit here, I'd like you guys to press hold, and then over here, you guys probably need to move over there. Somebody surrendered, but then maybe we surrendered. That happens a lot. Alright, grab all of you, just bring you up behind, grab you, bring the cab over for anybody that re uh, tries to retreat out of the fort. Oh, that artillery's not holding well. Probably my fault. Most definitely my fault. Okay, that's looking good. Can you guys hold, hold. This just for the time being, fill that with uh, guards. Man, I probably need my cat over there. Is that like a million grenadiers? Sure what it looks like. That looks like a million grenadiers. Right, you guys fall back a little. Okay. This is starting to go well. You guys are exhausted, that's fine. Uh, where's... Where's the artillery crew? You're right there. You... Go over here. You need to pull... move up over here. Okay. These guys need to move up over here. We just need to make sure things are in range to shoot. Bunch of shattered units right there. Love to see that. 
Okay, let's uh let's move you guys up over here again. I keep flip-flopping. I understand I keep flip-flopping. Can you guys return? Would be great if you did. Okay. We nearly have a surround, and they're starting to to look um, not good on their end. We're not exactly in great shape, but you know what? Let's uh, let's do something like that. Okay, Jack Sparrow surrendered. Where? Dang it! He must have like shattered immediately. Oh, over there. Aha! Worst pirate ever. Oh man, if we could hit that, that would be great. But I have heard of him. Okay. Um, you guys need to... What is this mess over here? Come on, move up. You need to go over here. Um, another... Surrender, not surrender. It's gonna going to become a game like do you surrender? I do! Haha! -ha, I tricked you. Okay, the center over here not doing well. That's because they have cannons left. So you two will regroup. That'll be fine. You need to come over here. I would love to charge in with them, but that's just not going to happen. Oh god, you guys are going to get decimated. Come on, move in, move in. Move behind. Form up, group up, group up over here. Rear flank? No, I hate that bug. Ah, the rear flanked bug shows itself again. Yes, I'm going a little bit crazy. I understand. Okay, we're going to charge over there. I see an opening, and I like it. And then you guys are going to group up with somebody. You guys are going to group up with somebody. That rear uh, rear flank bug is horrific, by the way. Can they get on the artillery? And you guys... No, you guys cannot get on the artillery. Uh, okay, uh, you've done your job. Now, now get out of there. Okay. This is, this is, uh, this is something. This is something, boys. What are you guys? Okay, that's fine. Alright, you guys need to hold. Can you guys move up? Can you guys reman guns? No. Okay. Can you guys get on that gun? No. You guys can get on that gun. I don't know why they can't. They must be militia or something. Can you guys sh hit them? Uh, I don't know what I was about to say. Sounded like a swear word. Um, okay, you guys become friends. All of that. I need I need them to shatter. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Move up, move up, move up, move up. You guys are doing okay. What is this? That's uh, Jack Sparrow. Okay. Um, okay, you guys are doing your thing. Come on, move up. Uh, actually, join. Join at the hip. You guys move up. Okay, we have a solid core in the center right here. With our guards and everything, they're going to, to make sure that, you know, the enemy is having a really bad day. And then we are going to continue to encircle the British. Oh, what the heck happened over there? Oh no, this flank is not doing well now. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Get out of there! They found our weakness, the right flank of militia. Okay, uh, with that being said, reform the line. Reform! the line. Can you guys get over there? Okay. This is going... Is it going okay? I don't know. This is the problem with these battles, is you're like, I don't know 
what is going on anymore. I feel like we have lost all semblance of control. This right flank is not looking good. I need you guys to move over here. And then I need you guys to like move into the fort. You guys move up. You guys charge them, shoot them. This this flank not doing well. Mainly because the cannons I don't let like they form terrible lines. I think I say this all the time, but I feel like uh, in the Revolutionary War, forming a line is very very important. Okay, we are going to charge. Biasy missiles. Oh, no, that bug. Ah, if I if I move the screen. The bug doesn't doesn't ruin me. I don't want the game to crash. That 9,999, you can see the like artillery glitches. There it is, the glitch. That bug is horrific. It crashes games. They need to fix that bug ASAP. Okay, you guys. Oh god. I don't want to crash. Sorry guys if I'm going on to this side of the battlefield. That bug is it is a killer. It kills your game. And it's still doing it. They're still freaking out. Come on. Can you guys please destroy this artillery? So it stopped. No! No! 9,099 problems on the wall! Wait, that was like... How many problems I have mixed with bottles on the wall? God! That bug is so bad! I, they're aware of this. I thought they fixed it, but obviously not. Uh, really sorry, guys, if this battle has... If I have played terribly at the back half. Um, didn't really know what to do there. Not going to lie. Okay, this, this flank has done terrible. Oh my gosh, can you guys please destroy that artillery? Holy cow. Okay. Need you guys to move up over here. Need you guys to move up over here. You guys move up over here. Come on, please take them out. You're doing fine. You guys are retreating. This artillery I want over here on this flank. That artillery crew can, you know, just help out, I, I guess. And then... You guys, we have the fort. We have the high ground, as Obi-Wan would say. Okay, that artillery doing fine. I say fine a lot. It's it's just, you know, the best descriptor in this situation. Hold! Can you guys combine? You guys can. Can you guys finally kill something? Oh, the enemy! They finally retreated. Oh, I didn't think we were going to make it. That, uh... As I said, uh, I, I was doing really, really well doing this battle before, and that 9,999 problem bug completely crashed the game. And I was, I was so sad. I was like, no, I don't want to do this battle again, and you can you can tell that I didn't want to do this battle again because um, I played like absolute garbage on this one. But, oh no, do their units like melee my absolute terrible artillery? They're going to get away. Oh well, we tried. We we tried our best. I think we we did shatter and capture a few of them. Oh, and artillery is doing an okay job. Oh, and those skirmishers are over there. -na 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 -na. Oh, that's the I want to be a duck song, not Benny Hill. All right, so not a good battle on our part, but to be fair, they outnumbered us, and they were in a level two fort, and level two forts are pretty, pretty good. Philo Coker and Jehu Ren. There are some great names. I love the quadruple or you know, like a million spaces between names, a comfort pain, that's an oxymoron right there. Pr 
Prosperity Crane. God, these names are absolutely amazing. And by amazing, I mean they are totally a Benedict Cumberbatch fantasy RPG name generator. But that's okay. All right, our forces are taking Fort Clinton. Um, looks like we didn't get any surrenders, although maybe people will surrender once they, they, um, got those, yeah, mass surrendering, yeah, do it, do it. That was a lot of surrenders, holy cow. You know what, you guys can go there, you guys, oh my goodness, uh, I didn't have my entire fleet out. How many, no, 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 how many... 408. Crap. Um, this is where the disengage button would be amazing. Where did they get that from? Okay. Well, you know, good thing it's uh, the end of the campaign and... Uh... <laughs> get out of there! As soon as, as, soon as that... Uh... Oh, nope. Uh, ah, everybody in the fort. Get in the fort. Come on. I mean, it's actually an even battle to an extent. We will lose this, but I do want to get out of there. What is all of this? Um, Some dude's dead. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I wonder if those were regimental commanders that were dead. Why is he minus four? So, okay. That is pretty much going to be the campaign. Um... I, I do want to go over some stuff. We're not going to do Hempstead in in this. It's we, we need to rest, recover, all of that jazz. Oh god. Okay. Go. Sail to port. Sail to port. Ah. Okay. Um, so this is what our fleet looks like. I guess um Protect Port Saratoga. I guess it said like the British might attack through Canada, but we own most of the important parts of Canada. So I, I just wanted to show off like where we are as a campaign. So the enemy has Hempstead. We just took New York. We just took Fort Clinton. We'll take Hempstead because the British are super passive. This northeast corner, some people have asked, like, will I take it? And the answer is no. And it's a really dumb, gamey reason why I'm not taking this corner. There is a mechanic called Royal Fury in the game. And what it does is if you take more than 80% of the total settlements on the map, King George gets really, really angry and he spawns three different large armies. And one of them like spawns in the middle of your, your territory around like Fort Saratoga or is it up at, might be up at Canada, I think. And then the others are like naval invasions. And it's just, it's one of those mechanics where it's like, ah, uh, I get why you're doing it, but the fact that it spawns only if I take more than 80% of the territories is, allows for people to be cheesy and gamey. And I generally don't like being cheesy and gamey, but I'm doing that to make a point that I can completely negate Royal Fury. I didn't have a single Royal Fury during this entire campaign because I said, this part of the world sucks. I'm sorry, Massachusetts, but you provide nothing of value on the strategic map. Absolutely nothing. Also, because I left all of these ports open, almost every single invasion went up to Falmouth or Castine. I didn't have a single invasion land over here. Um, the only one that was supposed to go to Newport eventually went to Hempstead, and that's a scripted one. I think it was because I garrisoned up Newport that it worked really well. As far as other things, obviously we have way too much money due to a bug. If you want to look at, uh, not mining resources, let's go to construction management. I have greatly built out my infrastructure. You can see I have tons of farms being built, mines, factories, all of that. If you go up to my production management screen, you'll see that I have 28 mines available, or not mines, factories available. And that's from building blacksmiths, that's from building the infrastructure factory, and I have tons of ammunition. I've been building uh, field guns, 12-pounders, 6-pounders, 
Um, I can replace like all of those cavalry immediately. You can see how many Dragoon Carbines I built. I have tons of Pennsylvania rifles. I have more Virginias than I know what to do with. I keep trying to delete these from the queue, but the production queue seems really buggy. I'm pumping out fourth rate US class heavy frigates, which this is an obnoxious thing. Um, these are the 60 gun frigates. So they're called fourth rate US heavy frigate here. But if you go into here, um, it's the USS Constitution. Well, now it says fourth rate US class. They, they, they go back and forth on what they call the different ships. As far as our research, um, for the Chief of Army, you can see that we basically have everything that matters. I mean, there's barely anything that we haven't touched. As far as special operations, I've been hitting that hard because I absolutely hate sabotage in its current form. So I've been grabbing all this plus four counter sabotage in the intelligence tree. Uh, we have 102 reputation left over. As far as the artillery, I grabbed all the artillery that matters. I, I, I will do a playthrough where we try mortars and we try howitzers. They sound interesting. I didn't bother with four pound of galloper guns because by the time we got to them, they became obsolete. As far as what is this chief, uh, quartermaster chief, which is, what is this, um, greens? This tree seems eh. Like this tree needs, like that, that's really good, but it just meh. I, at first, like these percentages and all of these things are really good in mass, but when you look at it, at first glance, you're you're just underwhelmed by it. You like these are the ones where like ooh shiny, whereas these ones are really good, but they just don't have the ooh shiny factor to them. And then chief engineer, uh, I didn't delve deep into this because once we got Virginias and dragoon carbines and the Pennsylvania rifles, I felt like we we're basically done in this tree. There's uh, other things like the pluses are good, minus intelligence cost is good, plus two reporting. Some of these bonuses are really, really good, and they're they're redoing the tech tree, I think, a little bit, or rebalancing it. I would love to do a in-depth analysis on the tech tree. I think that would be really cool. Let me guys know if you'd be interested in a video of that. I, I definitely plan that once the game is fully released, and I'll probably do a more like narrative-style campaign where it's like, I, I won't show every single thing. I'll probably like record everything then do a narration over it and only show like the the important bits and battles i'll show snippets of battles as opposed to entire battles things like that and it'll sort of be more of a journey and once i play the entire full campaign i think i'm going to really work on trying to trying to do some tutorials for you guys because tutorials are really important there's a lot of people on discord that ask for tutorials and i think that's a good thing so also, uh, most of my towns are built out. You can see, like, I have really, really built out my towns and infrastructure. Um, that being said, without that glitch, I was hemorrhaging funds left and right, and I was forced to send my navy out to capture enemy ships and try to try to try to capture them and sell them. Where was he going? He was probably going to Fort Saratoga because it said protect Fort Saratoga. So. And then there's the frontier. Um, this is a really large map, and the final map is even larger. And I think I'm going to do a video. I said I would do it on Sunday. I just haven't. I've been a really bad YouTuber lately. Let's just put it that way. Um, but I, I feel like I, I need to make a video going over their proposed map. And there's been a lot of Discord discussion of like, is five generals enough for a map of that size? Five generals for a map this size doesn't feel, does, does, like, five generals for this map feels tight. And the problem is, a lot of what you use your generals for is just line of sight. So there's been talk of, like, it would be really cool if they created a scout cavalry unit, or if your cavalry unit gave vision. Because it's, it doesn't make sense that all you're using your general for is line of sight. That's not what generals are for. Four. I mean, you know, sometimes they did that. Like a great example is General Jackson and A.P. Hill during the Battle of Chancellorsville in the American Civil War, where he was trying to scout the lines, but lo and behold, 
what happened? He got shot by his own men in the dark, and General Jackson eventually died from pneumonia, which was kind of from the wounds that he suffered from that incident. So, generally speaking, you don't want your generals being your scouts. You you have people that know the country better than your generals. You you hire spies. You hire and like. I feel like the supply network on the final tier could maybe give you some better line of sight. I, I don't know. Those are some thoughts there, but that, that's all stuff for a different video. I think I'll do try to do some thought videos um, on this. As far as playthroughs, I might do some like custom battle stuff, but I don't know if I will record another playthrough before Steam launches in the same manner as this. As I said, I'll probably do something where it's like I pre-record it without any commentary, commentary, edit it down into like a, a narrative style video, and then do um, commentary on top of that with like kind of what I'm doing, but at the same time more of a more of a story as opposed to a live play-by-play -play analysis. If you guys want live play-by-play -play analysis, I have two uh, two campaigns of this out. This is the second one, um, and it is it is done. I understand, you know, Hempstead's left, and this is over here, and the campaign goes till June fifteenth. But I'm terribly sorry, guys. This is all I'm doing for this twenty episodes is a lot, and my Civil War campaign is probably going to be like forty five, forty eight episodes. Um, so in the meantime, what am I going to do? Well, I'll probably put out more content for this, but it'll probably be more like um what's going on in the game what are the devs doing what are my thoughts on certain things and probably tutorials once certain features of the game are kind of more locked in also definitely plan to play some other games like classified 44 i kind of want to play frostpunk even though it doesn't really fit with my channel but i don't really care and then there's some other ones like warno looks like a lot of fun i might you know dabble into gates of hell every once in a while again um it's it's on my channel but I stopped playing it because I find it's very difficult to create an engaging video for that, but I think if you make it more of a narrative style, it might be more interesting. I'm not entirely sure, um, but there, there's a lot of games that I want to play, and I don't want to be stuck into just playing Ultimate General American Revolution and the Civil War, even though this will probably be like the prominent game on the channel. Basically, anytime this game gets a major update, major release, or once it launches on Steam, this will be like the number one game on the channel most likely, but I don't want to get pigeonholed into like, I only play this game. I, I do want to branch out um, and try to keep it within the theme. So either historical or real-time strategy, uh, there, there's other games that I would like to play that are more sci-fi. Like I would love to put uh, Terminator Dark Defiance on the channel. I would love to do uh, Starship Troopers. So I'm kind of thinking of like a real-time strategy or a, uh, a historical vibe to it, because there's a game like All Quiet in the Trenches that looks amazing, just things like that. So if it's historical, it might be anything. If it's real-time strategy, it might be like sci-fi or whatnot, because I do play literally everything. I was playing multiplayer with Sir Jellybean on Project Zomboid the other day and uh, his friend Erica. That was an absolute blast. If you don't know who Sir Jellybean is, go check out his channel. Um, he is an awesome YouTuber. Uh, he is hilarious, and I, he's a good friend. I consider him a good friend, and we like to play multiplayer games together. Anyways, that is it for today's episode, and that is it for this campaign. If you've made it to the end of this campaign and watched all 20 videos, let me know. I would love to hear you guys' comments. Also, like, what do you think about the game so far? Keep in mind, it's early access, so there are things that the devs will always be balancing. But like, where would you like the game to go? How do you feel about the game? What do you like? What do you think that needs to be better? Don't don't make it all negative. I would love to know what you guys like about the game too. Like, what is your favorite aspect of this game? Um, the more feedback we can give the devs, the better. I talk to Panda Kraut a lot. And Panda Kraut is a contractor with the devs, and he kind of compiles all the quote-unquote complaints, criticisms, critiques, feedback that we have, and he kind of compiles it and gives it to the devs, and the devs actually listen. 
And I, I can't stress how amazing that is when devs listen. It doesn't mean that everything I want is going to be in the game, nor should it. There are things I want to happen that just aren't monetarily feasible or like uh, they don't have the resources to do it. That doesn't mean I can't like wish for things, but uh, th there's plenty of things that I want that I know will never happen. But there are things I want that I think uh, I think are very feasible and could happen and should happen. So that is uh, that is my spiel on that, and there'll be many more videos giving my thoughts and uh, talking about how the devs are doing in the future. I'm going to put a link in the top right-hand corner to episode one of this campaign if you guys missed that, and uh, go check out my Ultimate General Civil War campaign. I really enjoy that game. It's made by the same people as this. Um, a very fun. It's an older game. It's like seven or eight years old, but... It's fantastic, especially if you like the Civil War. Anyways, that is it for today's episode. As always, guys, until next time.